Hey friends, it's Julie and welcome to leg day. So today we're going to work our legs. You are going to need your weights and a kettlebell if you have it. If you don't have a kettlebell, don't worry about it. You can just use one weight and I will show you how to do that. Just a little bit of space. I'm also going to give modifications for anybody who does not like to squat or lunge. So if you are someone that it really bothers your knees to do a squat or a lunge, I'm going to give you a modification to do instead. So, are we ready to do this? You're gonna need your heavier weights because we're working legs. So I'm gonna work anywhere between 20 to 30 pounds down to probably 15. That's gonna be about my range. So choose your heavier side of your weights because we're gonna kill the lower body today. And we have three rounds, two exercises per round and one bonus finisher. Ready? Okay. Let's do some nice big shoulder rolls. We just want to get our upper body warm just a little bit because we're going to hold weights, but we're going to focus on warming up the lower body because <laughs> we got to work legs. Nice big rolls. And to the front. All right, let's open and close those arms. So just cross your chest and open. Cross your chest and open. Just get a little bit of mobility going here in the arms. stretch. Okay, we're going to take this into some front leg kicks. So just kick to the front and switch. I'm going to start working through that hip joint here and getting a stretch in our hamstrings. Doesn't matter how far you kick. Let's do one more on each side. Okay, we're gonna take it to hip openers. We've done these before. We're gonna pull your up, knee up and around. And switch up and around. We just wanna work through our hip mobility here. If you need to hold onto the wall for balance, that's awesome. So just as high as you can bring your knee up and circle it around, moving through that hip joint there. Let's do one more on each side. Awesome. Okay, feet about hip distance apart. We are going to hinge forward, lean back. So to the front, slight bend in the knees, and then push the hips forward. Try to get as much of a flat back as you can. So you really get those hamstrings, and you want to think of pulling your tailbone up. So we go to the front, flat back, and we're thinking of lifting the tailbone, really getting a stretch in the hamstrings. Okay, when we go down this one, we're gonna hold it. Hold it right here. Now, you can keep your hands here on your thighs, or if you can reach the floor, go ahead and do that. We just wanna let those hamstrings get stretched out, relax a little bit. Okay, step back with one foot into a runner's lunge. Let's stretch this out. I don't know about you, my legs are feeling a little tight this morning, so I need to stretch before we get working. Let's take this to a triangle stretch. So both legs straight, and you're thinking of bringing your chest towards your thigh, not your head. Tailbone lifted to the ceiling. Come on back down. We are gonna switch legs. So bring the other foot in, and take the other one back. Let's stretch that out. For me, sometimes I will also push my knee open just a little bit. Helps get into the inner thigh a little bit opening up the hip. For me, that feels really good. If that doesn't feel good for you, don't worry about that. All right, let's straighten both legs. Now you're gonna bring your feet together and slowly roll it to the top. Nice, okay, take one foot out. Your heel's gonna go down. You're gonna lift the toe. It's not a hard flex, just the lifting of the toe, and then sit back. We're gonna get up to our hamstring again, move in our calf muscle. So you don't need a hard flex. And when a hard flex, I mean it's like, you don't wanna pull it back so hard that you feel like that really in, like tightening feeling because that gets us, gets us into a nerve stretch. So relax the foot. You want it flexed, but not a hard flex because we wanna get a muscle stretch, not a nerve stretch. All right, let's switch. And you'll be able to feel the difference. If you're right here, if you flex really hard, you should feel like kind of almost a, a burning pull, that's a nerve stretch. So we want the foot flexed, but we're not 
it's not that hard flex where we're pulling, pulling so hard. That's a different stretch. We just want to get the muscle stretch. So we're just flexing our foot a little bit, but we're not like pulling it back into that hard flex. I hope that makes sense. And come back up. Okay, let's go to some butt kicks. We need to get our legs warm now. So you're just gonna pull that knee, not pull the knee, sorry, pull the heel back towards the glutes. Warming up the quadriceps a little bit here, getting some heat going into the legs, getting the heart rate up just a little bit. Cause we gotta work, we got, we got stuff to do, right? Let's take it into a step touch. Keep a bend in the knees. Just step in side to side. Little lateral movement here. Okay, now we're gonna jog it out. And jog it out. Just a little jog, or you can march in place. Whichever one feels better for you. Okay, we're working for reps. So, yay. I know everybody prefers the reps over the time of retention. We're gonna go for 12 reps of each exercise. Now this first round, squats. Lots and lots of squats. Not lots and lots, but you know, squats. In three, two, one, and rest. Hopefully you feel warm. Okay, you have two squats. Your first exercise is a narrow squat, so you're gonna want your feet pretty narrow. A little bit of space between your feet, but we're not standing out wide. So we're gonna hold our weight or weight one way. I'm gonna hold one weight because it's just easier for me. And we're gonna squat. Thing to look for. No knee collapsing, right? And no, no knees going out to the side. We need them to be straight. That's the first one. Second one, you are gonna go wide. Wider than your hips. Toes just angled ever so slightly for a goblet squat. We'll hold the weight here. We'll go down low. We'll come up. Once again, we don't want our knees to go in or out. Modification for those of you who do not want to squat. Hold your weight or one weight and you're gonna march. Slow knee lifts. We're gonna pull the knee up as high as you can. For the goblet squat, what I need you to do is turn that out and march it out to the side. You can also do this with a resistance band around your feet if you prefer that over holding a weight. Either one's a good option. So that's for you, my friends, that do not want to squat, all right? Are you ready? I'm gonna hold one weight um, because these are bulky, which I love them, but they are bulky. And so loading up my shoulders, kind of uncomfortable. So I just like to grab my weight. So narrow squats. I'm gonna start with a 20 pound. My intention is to go heavier for the next round. So narrow squats, the weight's gonna be in your heels, not your toes. We need the weight to go back into our heels and you're gonna squeeze when you come to the top and engage the core. So bring that core in. Think of pulling the belly button towards the spine, embracing it. That will help protect your lower back. And make sure your chest stays lifted the entire time. I don't want you to fold in half. Okay, are we ready? 12 reps, here we go. Two more. And rest. We're gonna take that out wider. Or for my friends that are gonna do the wider march, you can take your feet out a little bit. You can also do this holding one kettlebell if you have that. If you wanna do one weight, that's another great option. 12 reps, goblet squat, here we go. So we're gonna go wider with that squat now. You can usually go a little bit deeper in a goblet. Here's 10. And 12. Woo! Okay, let's 
take a little bit of rest before we do that again. I'm just gonna keep my body moving. You can get a sip of water, you can stretch a little bit, you can kind of walk around the room. We're gonna take shorter rest periods today. Typically, we'll rest about a minute. We're only gonna rest about 30 seconds. So we're gonna try to push a little bit harder with less rest. But of course, if you ever need more rest, you can pause me and take longer breaks. That's okay. So, you've done the first round. How were your weights? Do you need to go up? Do you need to go down? Were they just right? Did you finish those 12 reps and feel like, yeah, that was good? Okay, then let's do this again. I'm gonna go up to 25 pounds. And maybe for the last round, go up to 30. Let's see. Okay, so we get a narrow stance here. 12 reps. Nice and tall, core is in. Here we go. Here's five. wind up being six on each side, it's totally fine. Okay, ready for those goblets? Here we go. Push through those heels to stand. Squeeze the glutes at the top. There are six. That was 10, we have two more. And rest. Woo! Okay, so I'm gonna go up to 30s for the very last round. Take a little sip of water. If you need it, get a little rest here. One more round of that. Out those arms if you need to. Sometimes holding weights, you need to kind of move the wrists around because they're flexed a little bit. Are you ready to do this again? Last round. Give me your best. Here we go. Grab your weight. Oh, mine's stuck. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fun. Okay. So, narrow stance, nice and tall. 12 reps, here we go. And 12. Turn those toes out. Right into that goblet squat. Here we go. Are you breathing? Here's 10. Let's get two more. Last one. Oh, rest. How do you feel? Oh, 
my heart rate's up there. I'm a little out of breath, anybody else? Okay, so next round, what we have is an alternating exercise and then we're gonna do one leg and one leg. So, I'm gonna show you the exercises then I'll give the modification for the first one because we have reverse lunges. You're just gonna alternate. So reverse lunge, come to the top. Reverse lunge, ooh, lost my balance, come to the top. So, with those reverse lunges, because we're trying to go for 12, we're gonna do 24 reps so that we end up getting 12 on each leg. For my friends that do not do lunges well for their knees, you're gonna do a glute lift. You're gonna do 12 on one side, then you'll switch and do 12 on the other. Second exercise we can all do. This is where we're gonna do one leg and then we'll do the other. It is a single leg deadlift. You have two options. First, you're gonna put your back toe down as like a kickstand with the weights in your front foot. You're gonna hold one weight. We need to get to a flat back and squeeze when we come to the top. If you want, you can float the leg. Harder and you have to balance. I'm gonna keep my toe down because I feel like I can go a little heavier if my toe's down with that stability. So it's up to you which one you choose. Everybody can do the deadlift, so just remember that the weight's still in the front. The back toe is just a kickstand or a balance, a way to balance. So we're not gonna put any weight back here, it's just to keep us balanced. We need to get that flat back and pull, 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 pull up through the hamstring and glute, okay? This gets a little bit into your lower back also. So we just need one weight for that deadlift. So whichever weight you wanna to choose to challenge yourself with, and then for the reverse lunges, you can hold one weight, or you can hold two weights, whichever you wanna do. I'm gonna hold one weight, I'm gonna start with 25 pounds. And I might just stay there. We'll see. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so we have reverse lunges, or you're gonna do that glute kickback. You can do that with a resistance band, or you can just do it body weight. Are we ready? Here we go. Back and down. You're gonna step back and lower down. Okay, that's 12, so you're halfway. Four more. And rest. Woo! Okay. How'd you do? Okay. <clears throat> Let's go into our single leg deadlift. Doesn't matter which leg you start with. You're gonna have your weight in the arm that is the kickstand leg, your supporting leg. That's where you're gonna have your weight. 12 reps on this side, then we'll switch. Ready? Here we go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze to the top. <clears throat> That's six. That's 10, you just have two more. Yay, okay. <clears throat> Let's switch. So other foot back. You know, every time I wear my hair down, thinking it's gonna be okay, my neck gets hot. I need to set myself little reminders about this so you don't like your hair down when you work out. Okay, let's do it on this side. Remember the weight's in the front heel. That back leg is just for support.
That was six, you're halfway. Two more. And rest. Okay, woo. I'm definitely gonna go up in weights on that. I started with 15s. I'm gonna go uh, to 20s. Okay, let's take a little rest. Was it really challenging enough? I mean, I felt it, but I feel like I could do more. So that's what we gotta do, right? As I say this all the time. Sorry, I'm such a broken record. But this is what we do after each round. You reevaluate what weights you used and decide if you can adjust. Can you go up? Was it perfect? Or did you really struggle and maybe you should go down a little bit? The worst thing is to go too heavy and struggle so much through it that your form fails. That's the worst. We do not want to go heavy enough that that happens. So always be mindful of your form and that you can complete the reps, but they challenge you. Not, I'm dying, I can barely get it up, and I'm having to use momentum in my body to do it. That is not going to help you, and that's just going to lead to injury. We don't want injury, because I want you to work out with me for a long time. Okay, let's do this again. We have our reverse lunges. I'm going to stick with 25 pounds for this, for this round. Maybe I'll go up. I don't know. Okay, 24 reps. Or you've got 12 and 12 of your loop lift. Here we go. Okay, that's 12, you're halfway. single leg deadlift. Okay. Are you ready for this? Remember, we want a flat back when we go down. Keep that chest open so you don't have any rounding. And back foot is just a kickstand. Weight is in the front heel. Let's do it. And what's your core doing? Make sure it's engaged. That was 10. Let's get two more. And rest. Let's get that other side. So switch. Get that foot in the back. Here we go. And that's six, you're halfway. And that's 10, let's get two more. And rest. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna get a quick sip of water. How are you doing? 
Okay, quick little rest. One more time through that round, and then we're on to our last round. And our last round is well, where you can use a kettlebell if you have one. How are you feeling so far, okay? Other thing I wanna mention, with those reverse lunges, make sure when you step back and lower down, that your knee stays on top of your ankle so that it's not jetting forward past your toes. So you wanna step back, lower back. Okay, I'm ready to do this again. Let's do it, last round. I'm just gonna stick with my 25. I thought I was gonna go up to 30, but I decided I'm not because my quads are actually feeling it from all the squats. Okay, load it up. Here we go. Step back, lower down. Woo, yeah, so you can feel my quads. Okay, here's 12. You're halfway. Okay, four more. How is yours? Mine's at 151. So on the higher side. Working lower body makes your blood pump more because you're bigger muscles, so get your heart rate up. So we get a little cardio effect there when we're working legs. Okay, last time through of these single leg deadlifts. Take a deep breath. Here we go. Here's 10. All right, give me two more. Ah, rest. Let's switch. Let's just get right into it. Let's finish this round. Here we go. And here's eight. Give me two more. Oh, rest. Such a great job, you guys. Okay, one round left. This is where you'll need your kettlebell or one weight. So for kettlebell, I'm gonna use 20. That's the only one I have, and I just got this. When I moved, I was trying to eliminate how many things I brought, and so the kettlebells didn't come. Found this one at Marshall's. Kettlebells can be so expensive. <laughs> this one was at Marshall's, I think it was like $12 or something. So if you're ever looking for one, they have a pretty good selection. If though, you don't have a kettlebell, you can use one weight. So with the kettlebell, here's the trick. Sometimes I'll see people squat to do a kettlebell. It's actually not a squat. So, you're gonna lean back, your legs just have a slight bend, but they're not squatting, and then push your glutes forward. So it is not a squat, it's a hinge. But you wanna keep a slight bend in your knees because we never wanna lock out our knees. If you don't have a kettlebell, then 
take one weight, hold it, and you're gonna do the same thing. So, if you don't have a kettlebell, that's okay. You can make do with one weight. That's your first exercise. Second exercise, curtsy lunges. So for my friends who don't want to uh, do a lunge, I'll give you an option. Curtsy lunge, we're gonna alternate side to side. If that lunge hurts your knees, you're gonna do lateral leg lifts side to side. You can put a resistance band on or ankle weights if you want to turn up the intensity on that. That's up to you. Ready? It's our last round. And with those curtsy lunges, we're gonna do 24 so that we get 12 on each leg. Okay, so feet a little wider than hip width apart, sorry, toes forward, and we still wanna keep our chest lifted. We're not folding in half, chest is still lifted, even when we're hinging, right? So see how my chest is still lifted? I'm not like looking down and folding over. Okay, 12 of these, ready? Here we go. Down and squeeze your glutes. Here's 10. Again, rest. Woo. Okay. Feeling okay? Let's do our curtsies. I'm gonna hold one weight. Curtsy lunges. Here we go. So let's cross back, lower down. Chest is lifted, core is engaged. There's 12, you're halfway. Here's 20, give me four more. And done. Okay. I'm gonna get a sip of water. Okay, short little rest. We're gonna go back to those kettlebell swings. Now, the thing with these kettlebell swings, make sure you really squeeze the glutes. No, it won't look good, that's okay. Really squeeze them, <coughs> excuse me, really squeeze them, and push those glutes forward. That's really gonna help. You're gonna really get good glute work out there. Okay, let's do this. Grab your weight or your kettlebell. Feet a little wider than hips distance apart. Make sure you're still bracing your core. This is an easy one to kind of let the core go and let our belly hang forward a little bit. We don't want to do that because we want to support the lower back. Ready? Here we go. Squeeze. And rest. Woo! So actually, I'm just gonna use this to do my curtsy lunges. Why not? I've already got it. So for me, it's easier to hold it upside down. So if you ever wanna do that for a lunge, you can use kettlebells for anything. They're great. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. All right, here's 12, halfway.
Just two more. Okay, go ahead, set that down for a minute. Okay, give your arms a little rest. We're gonna do that one more time, that round one more time. Then we'll do a quick finisher and you'll be done. Take a little breath. Yeah, my heart rate's still up there. We'll go up to 160. We are working hard. Heart rate will vary from person to person, by the way, depending on your age, things like that. So don't let that be the only indicator. Now we all have a range. If you want to find your range, it's 220 minus your age. And then you're going to want to work in different zones. So you can be in the 30% of your max heart rate, the 40%, the 50%. Things like that. With cardio, we're in the higher percentage, typically. Okay, are you ready? One last time, let's do it. Squeeze. That's 12. Woo. That's 20. Give me four more. Last one. Good job, you guys. Okay. Take a little breather. Get a sip of water if you need it. We have a quick core finisher. Two options. First, we're going to do a wall sit. If you don't have a wall or a door or something to sit against, you can just do a squat hold. For my friends that have any issues, squat or wall sit should be okay on your knees. If it is not, then instead, I want you to sit and do leg lifts. But I need your back to stay nice and tall, okay? That is a modification that you can do to work your quads. Now, we're going for time. We're going for time. We're gonna get to a minute, and then hopefully 90 seconds. So I'm gonna let you get to a minute. If you're just like done, that's it. You can jump out of it. You can make it to 90 seconds. That's the goal. Okay. Now, take your feet out. You want your knees on top of your ankles. Parallel thighs. Here we go. So, parallel thighs. Knees are facing forward. And you're just leaning against the wall a little bit. Pressing into your heels. Don't come here. No good. Back against the wall. Now, if you start to get tired, you can come up a little bit higher so that your legs are not as low, but otherwise, you know, sit down, have a seat. Whew. Okay, so how do you feel? Let's talk about how you feel during this workout. Were you aware of your body positioning? Was your core engaged? Is your core engaged now? Were you staying with that weight in the heels and not on your toes? How do you feel like you did? Evaluate yourself. Oh my goodness, are you dying? Also, what are you gonna love about yourself today? What's gonna be that thing that you focus on and say, yes, I'm good at this, I love myself for this, this is a positive trait I have, and I'm gonna focus on that. What is it gonna be for you today? Okay, you hit a minute. If you need to break, go ahead and break. If you can hang in there with me, try. Just as long as you can. 
Oh my goodness, I'm gonna move up just a little bit. <laughs> Oh, you're close, you're close. Hang in there. Five more seconds. And rest. Oh my goodness. Yeah! <laughs> How much did that hurt? Yes, okay. Um, just do some little marches in place here. Let's just loosen that up a little bit. Okay, after this workout, you're gonna go eat your proteins, your healthy fats, your complex carbs, right? Gonna fuel our body after a workout, and you're going to drink water. Yesterday, I was able to get through four water bottles. Oh, I was so happy about that. I came close on my proteins. I was two grams short. That's okay. I was in the range. Didn't quite hit my carbs, but I got pretty close. Stayed way under my sugars, so I was very happy about that. And pretty close on my fats. So. You want to find out what those macro contents are. Let's do a quad stretch. What would be a good range for you? And then you do your best to hit it. So I found for me that yesterday I struggled a little more with getting the protein in. So I added a protein shake and I added, added a low fat Greek yogurt at the end of the day. That got me within two grams of my protein. So you kind of, if you can watch your macros, it gives you an idea of what foods help you hit those goals. Then, later on down the line, you don't need to track anymore because you'll have an idea of what foods get you there. Let's switch. Whew, gotta find a balance, there it is. So I really think that tracking is a great way to just help you see what foods help you get to your goals. And then from there, you can start doing it without tracking because you'll have an idea of what foods get you there. It's also helpful for me to see like what foods I choose and their sugar contents because sometimes I can get real lax about that and eat too much sugar. And so, and sugar just wreaks havoc in your body. It causes inflammation. It's not good for your joints. It's not good for fat loss. It's really not good for much. Um, so for me to be able to monitor and see like, okay, these meals, this is where I stayed at with my sugar, that was really helpful for me. So I stayed really low on my sugars yesterday and I felt so much better, so. Okay, let's hit those hamstrings. Put your heel out, flex your foot, not a hard flex, and sit back. So those are all things that I think are just helpful. And then if you can get that water in, I also, just to, I don't know, spice up my water a bit, I add a little bit of coconut water. So I will fill my water bottle up almost to the top and then I'll finish it off with a little coconut water. It gets some electrolytes in there and it just slightly flavors the water for me and I like that. Let's switch. You could also add lemon slices, orange slices, cucumber slices. Those are all great things too. If you struggle getting water and you're like, this is so boring. Spice it up a little bit, add a little bit of fruit, something like that, that just gets you a little more excited about drinking your water. I also sometimes add collagen to my water. I have a, I forget, it's a collagen beauty powder from Sun Warrior that I will add to my water just to get a little more protein in. And it kind of sort of flavors my water a little bit. Um, so there are, there's little things that you can do to kind of get some extra health benefits that make your water a little more fun. Okay, we're gonna get the hip flexor real quick. So step back. Now I want you to lower down and then tuck your pelvis. Like tuck it as hard as you can and you should feel a stretch right here in the front of your hip flexor. Just hold it there for a second. So I hope that some of these little tips helped. Um, you know, sometimes you gotta play around with your diet and see what foods work for you. There might be certain foods that bother your stomach, you wanna eliminate those. Certain foods you find maybe make you a little more bloated. Um, beans do that to me. So I kind of try to avoid the beans. Lentils I'm good with, things like that, but like black beans, we're not friends. And that's okay, everybody's body has different things they're sensitive to. Let's switch. So step back with the other and lower down and just get the front of this hip flexor. And I sent, there is a list that you can get off my blog that goes through foods that are great foods to incorporate into your diet. So if you ever need ideas, go through and look at those food lists and just see, do I need any of these? Like maybe I should add these in. You know, sometimes we gotta experiment, try new veggies, try new fruits, different things. And come up. You're done for the day. Thank you 
so much for hitting these legs hard with me. My legs are shaking a little bit. I don't know about yours, but like I can feel that little twitching going on in my thighs. <laughs> it's real. I think they're going to be sore tomorrow. So have a great rest of your day. Go get your water. Go get your healthy foods, your macronutrients, and write down something you love about yourself. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.